Hi everyone. <laughs> um, don't mind this little arch. I just have it on my table because I'm taking it to a doll event in a couple of weeks. <laughs> two weeks, I think. Eh, two and a half weeks. It's Puddle and it's in my state in Arlington Heights. And so this is really the best place for me to put it. It is meant for dolls. So I have Mimi here. She's a Milk Mirai Smart Doll. And she's here to help me do this box opening. Um, I am pretty sure I know what it is. Um, I made a couple of posts just on my personal page. Well, my Facebook page, just not in any groups about wanting to make, um, a doll of Alice from American McGee's. Uh, Alice games. I think there's two, one. I don't know. It's been a long time since I played it, but um, anyway, I commissioned Tyriac's Treasure. I think that's how it's pronounced. They, it's an artist on Instagram and uh, there's a Facebook page and this stuff came all the way from um, well, I don't know, somewhere. Let's see. I'm not sure. Um, the Netherlands, I guess. So, let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in here. Um... There is like some random pieces of something, which I think is mostly just for packing material. <laughs> this is not stuff I ordered, but it is still kind of cool. I don't know. Can I fix it? Should I fix it? I don't know. I think this is just meant to be to help keep everything tight in there of the stuff that I actually ordered. but. I don't know. There's some interesting things in here. Look at, there's a little, um, like, blaster gun type thing. This is all 3D printing art um, that he does, or she, I don't know. And um, so, yeah, I think this was just misprint stuff that they, that was used as packaging. <laughs> so look at, here's like a rifle, and the stock is definitely a little busted. Um, I don't necessarily... Um, need that stuff, but could it be used as a prop? Cleverly um, displayed? Yes, probably. So this is part of what I ordered and I'm super excited. So again, I wanted to do uh, American McGee's Alice and I asked, or I commissioned to have um, her weapons 3D printed. So Let's see how these things are in here. I'm hoping this records okay. Oh, sorry for the train noise in the background. I live by, kind of by some train tracks. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, there's something in here, I think. And the rest of that is just bubble wrap. All right, so let's see. I'm not sure this could be packaging material or there might be something in there because it's kind of taped up. Let me just take a peek. Oh, okay, so these are the um, Vorpal, ba Vorpal, Vorpal <laughs> Blades for Alice. And... There they are, if you can see them. They're just basically like butcher knives, but they have like an antique look to them. There's like filigree on the blade. And just for um, scale wise, you can see it's pretty decent for a smart doll. Like this, all this stuff is scaled for one third uh, doll. So it, it's gonna work for smart doll or really pretty much any doll in a similar height range. 
Alright. Oh, did I miss something? There might be something in here. I don't know. Now my dog is sniffing around the bubble wrap below the table. Alright. So. Definitely used, um, which I appreciate actually. Like reusable, recyclable material, which I am very much a supporter of. May as well use something to more than one use. Okay, so this is a staff part for the hobby horse, which is basically like, um, you know, this game, if you're not familiar with it, this video game character, it's sent in like Victorian age era, but very gothic. And so this is like a riding horse, you know, like those toys that used to like, it would have a stick and then the horse head and then you would ride around on it like, you know, like you were playing and imagining. It's like that, but it's made into a weapon. Um, so it's, it's going to be pretty cool. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. Let's see. I'll try to take that piece out next so you guys can see the top of that. And these are unpainted. Um, Chihiro is, well, that's their name on Facebook. Um, you know, it does offer painting services, but obviously you can have it um, um, just print it and then paint it yourself, which I know you all know I'm not the greatest uh, painter. Um, oh my goodness, this is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of not melty, but like wet-ish. Um, <laughs> it's, it's like a little bit melty, a little bit like, I don't know if it's, if it was just not all the way dry in the packaging material. Um, it's just slightly like, I don't know, this is weird. I don't want to mess it up. Um, maybe these are damaged pieces? I don't know. This is part of the teapot. This is the legs, I think. I am going to set this aside because I don't want it to get wet. And I kind of want to get a napkin or something, but I don't want to take up too much time on this video. Alright, let's see. Let's cut into this. Okay, yeah, so this, this must be a misprint because there's another one in here. Oh, I see. It's like a smaller size. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a little wand thing in here, if you guys can see that. I don't know. It looks like the Elder Wand from Harry Potter. I don't know if that's supposed to be a part of this or not. Okay, let's see. So, um... When you commission for these 3D prints, you do get a price, and then if there are misprints, you have to pay for the misprints because you know there's still uh, materials still being used. It's not as expensive, I don't think, for the misprints, but you're just you know you're paying for the material. Yeah, so this is the fully printed one. I, I guess I mean it's the same. This is just a damaged one. So what I could do with that, I don't know. It's still pretty cool. Um, not sure. But here is the top of the hobby horse. Look at that thing. It's just, it's beautiful. Apparently, so apparently this is a um, 3D file that you can get. I, I think you have to pay for it. Um, I don't know. When I commissioned for this, um, the artist already had the 3D files for the hobby horse and the Vorpal Blades. Um, I paid for the 3D files for the teapot, which I'm about to open. Um, it was like $3 for this, the file. So then the artist obviously is going to keep the files so that he can, uh, you know, reuse it for future commissions if he gets any. Which, if you watch this video and you like this, I think you should consider it because it was really very easy to work with Chihiro and um, excellent communication. 
just all around and very um very uh i guess visible is the word that i'm looking for um in regards to um just being on social media like this is not an artist that you're going to commission and then they're going to disappear so look at this amazing thing this is supposed to be a teapot <laughs> it's big yes but it is supposed to be a weapon if you ha again if you haven't seen the game uh she uses it to spew scalding hot tea at her enemies it's beautiful i love it it's so great okay it is green in the game all of her weapons definitely have a black and red and kind of antique finish to them um the feet are not on here they're somewhere in one of these things but you can see this was the misprint you can see it still has the um support struts or whatever that come with 3d printing um so they're <laughs> they wouldn't work but the idea is there so you see the feet go underneath the teapot so that it can sit and stand upright it has a clock on its front this game also has a lot of um uh like clockwork gear um what is the term for it i can't think of it but can you see the clock dial there isn't that just amazing this detail is just beautiful so when this uh 3d file was purchased it actually i guess the artist said that it had just a huge amount of is layers the right term that's the only thing i can think of because i'm thinking of like photoshop and stuff like that but um it had like a puff of cloud coming out of it it was huge it made this thing probably twice again as big and i was like just just cut that off just remove it i don't want it because i think it's good just how it is um so again obviously i have to paint these myself um but i am okay with that i'm pretty excited to actually do something that is crafty and kind of make it my own i will have um you know the the video game to reference although i actually need to set up my game system so i can look at it um oh, sounds like my dog is getting into something <laughs> it's hurt something oh i hope he's not doing anything bad um but anyway i'm excited to paint these and put them together so it's it's not just painting but assembling too so i'll have to do some gluing and stuff this is the lid for this teapot look at that <laughs> it's like as big as my face it's huge and i love it it's so fantastic i cannot wait not only you know all of my custom smarties now like i do um you know commission people to do face-ups i commission people to do um, clothing pieces and now i'm even commissioning people to do props and it's just it's so like special to me like i am not crafty enough i do not have the know-how to do something like this here's the feet and they're actual little feet they're adorable they're like little paws they're muscly paws it's funny um i guess they're supposed to be kind of like dragons maybe anyway I just, I love that I can bring so many artists together in a doll. Um, Mira is not going to be Alice. I'm, I'm going to have to commission somebody to uh, do that for me. But Okay, so then in this tiny little packet, let's see if I can open this up without cutting the inner envelope. Um, so the hobby horse uh is actually a unicorn so it has a horn in here and then it also has um keychains or not keychains chains around it's like you know like the part the harness part of the mouth so these are the extra pieces that go with the hobby horse oh and um the artist sent me a couple of little tiny little props that also go with the Alice um, character. There's like a key with a heart on it. And then she also has a um, little necklace piece. Ooh, knocked my chandelier. Um, that has a little 
Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be able to connect this to the other video, but there was another part in here. Um, so I do have two different sizes of Warple Blade there. So many prints. Oh my gosh, this is like uh, just amazing. I'm so thrilled. The last thing in here, there was something in this box and it is another weapon, which I forgot about. Um, but it's a pepper grinder. And it's going to be amazing. Are you guys ready for this? I am so excited. So this one, um, I think, either was already an item that the artist had printed and painted themselves, or like they used a, a, a print that looks like, the material looks like wood grain, which is really awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. So yeah, four weapons then. The, the teapot, the blades, the hobby horse, and then this pepper grinder. It's huge and I love it. Okay, so in the video game, she holds it like this. You can see there's like ammo holes and she twists it to grind it and um, Pepper shoots out and makes her enemies sneeze, which is kind of funny. Um, or, you know, worse damage as, as it gets older. But here, I'm just going to do a close-up of this so you guys can see this. You can see the detailing on there. It's just, this is fantastic. I am beyond thrilled. I'm just going to show you a quick close-up of each little item since I didn't really do that in the last video. Um, there's the purple um, prophecy head. Oh, God, I'm... I love this stuff. It's so amazing. I haven't, this is my first time ever really commissioning a 3D printed item, like commissioning it. I've bought 3D printed items, um, but actually commissioning one, everything is beautiful. And it's, it was nice to, it was a nice surprise to get, um, this cute little, um, wand in here. And even though these items probably were used to just like, you know, pack the, the, um, box. There was a couple extra items plus the damaged print. So I really got a lot in here. And, um, again, I'm just going to say the artist was amazing. So let me, uh, I'm like crawling through my little arch here. Let me show you a close up of this hobby horse. Look at the detailing on that. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. I'm so excited. And so to show you what it looks like, it goes, um, like that, you can see, and then there's a unicorn horn that goes right on the forehead, and then some chains that uh, go part as part of the harness of the horse. Um, and then here's the teapot, and then I'll show you guys the vorpal blade. So there's that clock dial and the dragon head, the handle. It's just amazing. I don't know that I could really get into 3D printing. I know there's files you can buy and just print, but I don't, I wouldn't know how to design anything. Here's the lid for the teapot. <laughs> it's ginormous. I love it. Um, and then here's the vorpal blades. So one's kind of in a, I don't know, I, I guess this might, you could say this is maybe a mis. I don't know. But there's one that has a black blade and then one that's already like painted silver. These are so fantastic. Thank you to Tyriax Treasure. And I'm sorry the last video got cut off. I'm hoping I can combine these two, but if I can't, it's going to be part one and part two. Thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions about this artist, check the description of the video. I'll put links to the Instagram and their Facebook page. Um, and then let me know. Let me know what you think or if you've commissioned this artist or other artists for 3D prints or if you just love Alice in Wonderland and you have suggestions on who might help me <laughs> make um, or commission her, you, her clothes. There's probably four different outfits. Maybe. Maybe more. I don't know. But um, I'm going to stop here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And just comment, like, let me know what you think or hit up the artist if you want some of your own amazing 3D printed items.